NVIDIA vs Gamers Wide Force RTX 30 owners won't get DLSS 3.0 and how Lisa Su will respond. Today, our readers could see that NVIDIA plans to systematically increase the cost of video cards. There are enough reasons for this maneuver, but the main one remains unchanged, Jensen Huang's greed. Unfortunately, gamers have no choice, because the alternative from AMD will cost fans of computer games no cheaper. That is why, in anticipation of the release of the GeForce RTX 40 series, many gamers are increasingly paying attention to commercially available video cards. It's simple, here and now you can buy GeForce RTX 3090 for 120,000 rubles, while only the recommended price for Europe for GeForce RTX 4090 starts from 2,000 euros and above. This is exactly the same situation with other graphics chips. For example, for 98,000 you can buy a GeForce RTX 3080 T, while the new GeForce RTX 4080 with a 192-bit bus and 12GB of video memory starts in European retail from $1,096. And if we take into account that we are talking about reference models, then custom solutions will be $200-$300 more expensive. But this is Europe. Whereas we have voiced the Russian reality, where all this will be terribly expensive. So it turns out that many people are sure that it is much more profitable to take a graphics chip of the current family. As it turned out, not everything is so simple. It's all about DLSS technology. It is known that today the second version is working for the benefit of gamers, and along with the appearance of a new generation of graphics chips on sale. DLSS 3.0 will be released. According to the official release, owners of NVIDIA video cards will have a huge performance increase, as well as a more realistic picture without blurry backgrounds and other problems that scaling technology faces today. That's just worth paying attention to a small remark, all this will be available exclusively to buyers of the new line of graphics chips, while the video cards on sale will be left out of the evolution. An example is the tests in Cyberpunk 2077. If you simply enable ray tracing but ignore the zoom technology, you'll only get 20 frames per second with maximum graphics. But once you activate DLSS 3.0, the image comes to life and you get more than 100 frames per second. In fact, the increase is not so big, because on the DLSS 2.0 version it is fashionable to get about 60 frames. So marketing statements about a fourfold increase in FPS are clearly not true. At the same time, there is a clear improvement in the number of frames using a new generation of scaling technology. NVIDIA representatives explain that it's all about the fourth generation Tensor course, as well as other features that, by a miraculous chance, can be found exclusively on GeForce RTX 4000 series graphics chips. The increase in the number of frames is due to the so-called optical generation of multiple frames technology. Allegedly, new frames are rendered in real time based on the use of advanced eye, and the algorithm itself has undergone long-term deep learning. Obviously, owners of new generation video cards will feel the difference, but what about those who recently invested a hundred thousand rubles or one and a half thousand dollars in the current generation of flagships? Jensen Huang throws up his hands, because you can't replace tensor kernels with new ones. What can you do, NVIDIA never ceases to surprise gamers with its behavior. Do you remember how in 2021 these guys shipped hundreds of thousands and even millions of video cards to miners? It seems that Jensen Huang needs a magic bindle, because without it, he simply will not be able to realize that picking the pockets of potential customers is a bad tradition. Gamers are already bombarding official forums with angry messages, and a lot of threats and malicious statements have accumulated under the official video. NVIDIA pretends that everything is as planned, but we will say a few words about AMD. It is known that we are waiting for a sharp increase in the number of frames using ray tracing. But somewhere in the small print it was said that everything will be available only for the Radeon RX 7000 series. 